from the horseshoe to the Big Apple. Ohio State marching band members from Northwest Ohio are ready for their big debut in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I'm just like looking forward to getting to Herald Square and having the cameras all over us. It's Kyle Preet's first year in the band, and it's hard for him to believe he'll be marching in just a few days. It's going to be weird not going home for Thanksgiving break, and with that, my mom always loved watching the parade growing up, so on Thanksgiving morning I'd wake up and the parade would already be on. Adam Wells has similar memories. On Thanksgiving, I would always wake up Thanksgiving morning to my mom watching the Macy's Day Parade. And the excitement still hasn't quite sunk in yet. Now that I'm like going to be in the parade, that's like pretty awesome. Like once in a lifetime experience for sure. An experience many of us will be watching from our Northwest Ohio homes. Reporting in Columbus, Emma Henderson, WTOL 11. This year's much more meaningful to me as I get to dot the I. Um, it's finally that time to live my dream and make it come true. Brett Wimkin has dreamed of dotting the I in Script, Ohio since he was a child. Parents were both Ohio State alumni. They took me to a bunch of Buckeye football games growing up and stuff. And, you know, I, I enjoyed them, but I don't think it was uh, quite my thing. And I think they could kind of tell. So they took a different approach and um, introduced me to the Skull Session and, like, let me watch Script, Ohio. So he started playing tuba at a young age, wanting to be the one performing. Um, when it came time in fifth grade to pick instruments, I picked the tuba just so I could come here and get an early start um, to my hopeful I-dotting career. At the Ohio State-Wisconsin game this year, that lifelong dream came true. Wimpkin stepped out in front of thousands of fans, showing pride in his Buckeye blood. It was surreal. Um, yeah, I, I still have goosebumps just thinking about it right now. But that was just practice for the biggest moment of his career in the band, dotting the I at the rivalry game. I mean, being from Northwest Ohio, the rival rivalry means that much more. Um, you know, you got a good mix of Michigan and Ohio State fans up there, so it's always nice to just kind of rub it in a little bit more, um, especially for the Michigan game. I'm really excited to go up there and dot the I in the big house. His family is making the trip up to Ann Arbor to see his lifelong dream come true in person. And just seeing all those people kind of come out and support me and you know that meant almost as much as just going out there and strutting and doing my thing. For these Ohio State students who grew up in Northwest Ohio, <laughs> playing in the Ohio State marching band during the Ohio State Michigan game is a dream realized. It's been my dream to be in the Ohio State marching band since I was literally three years old. But when I was really little, I didn't care that much about the football game, but I always was looking forward to when the band would come out. Now, as a music education major, Noah Jacket is the one who plans to dedicate his life to inspiring other aspiring musicians. I love um, being able to inspire other students to become greater musicians and also just greater people. Adam Wells didn't realize he wanted to be a part of the Ohio State Marching Band until much later. My freshman year, actually, in high school, I was in marching band, and um, for one of our games, the Ohio State Marching Band came to our field and did halftime on our field. Then he was hooked. Now he's in his second year playing trumpet. <laughs> Weinkin, a sousaphone player, grew up in the smaller town of Napoleon and was inspired by an older friend. It was his dream to come to Ohio State and dot the eye here. Um, his name was Matt Volkman, and he eventually accomplished that goal. Next year will be his chance to dot the eye, but games now are still a rush. It's a feeling like no other. For Kyle Preet, being in the band has become a bit of a family tradition. When my one brother came down here, and made the band, you know, that inspired the next brother who then inspired me. But that doesn't make his turn to play any less exciting, especially since as a snare drum player, he's on the field first. When we're first on the field and you're in front of 100,000 fans, you know, on average, there's about 4,000 eyes looking at you. So I think you really take in that moment of being on the only ones on the field as the rest of the band files down. So whether you're at the game or watching at home, know there's a lot of Northwest Ohio pride represented in the Ohio State Marching Band.